The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Our guest today will be Rich Anderson of Anderson Capital Management. We're going to talk about the stock market and the grains, a few other things, uh, history stuff that you might like. Uh, our guest tomorrow will be the, hold on one second, folks, the cash register is ringing. I don't know what's going on, but hold on. Well, don't worry about it. It only rang once, so it must not mean very much. Anyway, what we're going to be doing here is uh, we're going to be looking at some patterns here. What I've done so far this morning is I posted two patterns from the middle of the night. One was the E-mini uh, Dow Jones, and the other, one, of course, was the NASDAQ. The S&P did exactly the same thing. But the reason why I want to show you these is because of the fact that we have these A, B, C, D patterns lined up, and that's what you look for when you're trying to find, you know, these trends, the short-term trends, uh, against these really long-term trends like what we've had in the market. So this is uh, what it's all about, folks. So I hope we're going we're gonna to share a bunch of patterns here. And the reason why is these are the same patterns that I'm going to be talking about on September 20th, the same ones I do every day, boys and girls. It ain't going to be any different. It's just going to be a whole lot of fun. Hope we'll make a couple of shekels and have some fun doing it. Now, what I want to do now is I want to expand the Dow Jones uh, chart, and then I have to show you what we were looking at this morning because it's a very, very important day here today. Uh, let's get this up here. Here's where we are. Okay, there we go. Get this up here. Now, this is th this is really important from a technical standpoint, folks, for two different reasons. First of all, here is the first ABCD that I posted this morning. That's the one that happened in the middle of the night. Then you can see we came all the way down, and then we rallied up. And your beautiful A, B, C, D, that's a perfect Gartley at the 78% level. Remember, folks, this is a four-minute chart, so you're going to see a lot of action. But look at this big pattern right here from your A, B, C, D. Do you know why this is important, folks, and why the beepers went off at that level? And the reason for that is... That's where you made a beautiful ABCD. And what else did you do? You took out yesterday's low by two ticks. And look what happened. Bada bing, bada boom. We went all the way up and made new highs of the day. We rallied 300 points after hitting that. So why was that important? And here's what we're going to be talking about that I think you're going to enjoy. First of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the first part of this. This is what we're watching here with the S&P. It's the same with the S&P as it was with the, Dow, with the Dow Jones and also the NASDAQ. The standard deviation and mean were exactly the same thing. But today, when we made a new low, look where we were. We were hovering against that one standard deviation. That's where the option players have to make their stand, folks. I mean, they got creamed yesterday. Look at this move. 1,300 Dow points or 180 handles in the S&P. That's the seventh largest down move we've had in the history. So that's why we're getting this little bit of a bounce. When we go below this, when we go below this, and we will, well, I think we will. Let's just take the wild guess. What we'll be watching here is a possibility that something really, really super dramatic is going to happen. And since we're talking about super dramatic, I have to share this with you because uh, we talked about it yesterday, but we should share it again because what we see is repetition on all these things, and we want to be able to learn from this repetition and hopefully profit from it. This was the action yesterday. As you can see here, uh, we have this big move here. Look where it was, folks. Exactly 61% of the high from right here. This is the December contract. And there it is, right at the 78% of this high right here, which, as we know, was, raise your hand, Johnny, if you think you can guess what it is. Johnny's holding up a little piece of paper with three numbers on it. Oh, 382. <laughs> 
got to have a little fun with this, folks. Otherwise, it's not going to mean very much, is it? Okay, let's move on here to a couple things else that we need to carry uh, about. And that is Larry Williams, you know, on the thing that we sent out asking you to take a look at it. One of the things that Larry had is for one of his best trade setups for the 12th of, guess what, September, which was yesterday. Now, you can see here he used a $2,000, $2,200 two, $2, stop loss. It didn't go more than $50 above the 61% retracement. He wants to hold it for two days. So he would have been covering today probably sometime today or if it made a new low on the day. That's what he's looking for. That has a high probability of working. All he does is he doesn't care about eight or nine or ten days past that level. Now, with this big of a drop that we've had, and I think it qualifies as a big drop, we should be able to get some follow through because we already we're still trading below the 78 percent retracement of that down move, folks. That in itself, it should be enough to scare the bejeebies out of you if you're long. And if you're picking a bottom and it works for you, may God bless. And, you know, you certainly, certainly could have done, with, done that because the ABCD on the Dow Jones, you know, made that right as it's making new lows on the day, right at one standard deviation. So until we take that out, you know, this thing is not going to go anywhere. You know, that's the main thing is uh, you got to realize that. But the problem is is if we close lower today now stop and think for just a minute just you know humor me you know we are down almost 1400 points in the dow jones industrial average in a period of about 28 hours okay now so far we've rallied back from that just a little under 300 you know the, the 382 on that is up about six well it's about 500 points so we rallied up to about the 26 percent level this is what they refer to in technical analysis as a dead cat bounce. Nothing against the species of the kitties or anything like that. That's just what the technical names are the things that they give them. So that's why we're watching that very, very closely. Now, historically speaking, let's get this up here. I have brought this. Someone else was kind enough to send this out. I, I send this to you to give you an idea of, of what some people are looking at and what they're talking about that send me things. And that's why I wanted to show you this one right here. This shows you here that the uh, the Dow Jones has four days of back-to-back -back losses since 1896. Hello, operator. 1896. I remember I was nine years old. Uh, this is, tells you there's something is not right, folks. We've been saying that for weeks and weeks and weeks. And if we get this up here, I'm going to remind you again because this is a very, very important chart. And we should not forget it because it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. And here's what you're looking at here. This happens to be the worst January to August period since you can see that right there, folks. And it goes back a whole lot farther than that to 1976. So they just did uh, 46 years, but it goes back a lot farther than that of being very, very negative. Now, is that going to continue on through the rest of the year? God only knows, and she's not telling. 877-927-6648. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. C C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, Rich Anderson will be our guest uh, at the uh, at the half hour, but I did get a call from Paula Douglas yesterday and one of Mark's friends. Uh, I knew who he was, but uh, and I'd worked with him a little bit many, many years ago, but he called Paula, and he hadn't traded. He's just a little young. He's probably eight or nine years, maybe 10 years younger than me, and he was a bond trader in the bond pit, so his frame of reference is about two and a half to three minutes max, and he was asking you know, Paula, you know, was anybody using the old bond system that, uh, you know, that Mark worked on? And she said, yeah, Larry uses it. And she said, oh, he said, I remember him. She said, and she, yeah, so he gives me a call. And so I, I set this up for him this morning real early. And I said, look, I, I need your time of reference to move out to about a half an hour instead of two or three minutes. Can you do that? He said, yeah, I can trade one or two lots and do it. You know, and I said, how long has it been since you've been traded, trading? He said, I tried trading off the board you know, probably 15 years ago, but he said, I had so many businesses going, I just, you know, did those, and now I've sold some of those off, and so I really do miss trading, and I want to start again. So we started this morning, and we missed this first one right here. This was this first A, B, C, D. That's where the high of the day came in, right here. And then we had the big move down, and this is where we had our first trade, right here. There was a three drive to a bottom pattern, as you can see. It is flat out perfect. I mean, you can't get it any better. There's your A, B, C, D. It measures exactly to this spot here, 3104. And uh, it had well over $1,000 in it. And look at this first move here. He got very excited when he took 20 pips out of it right here. And then, then the market backed off. And then we made another move up here right up to this second A, B, C, D. And that's had 26 pips in it. So he's a convert. For how long? I don't know. Probably till the first losing day, and then he'll be moving to a uh, simulated moving average system or whatever it does, because these av these patterns don't work all the time, folks. They work part of the time, and that's the key is, you know, you got to remember which ones work and which ones don't. That's the main thing. It's very, very important to realize that they have nothing to do with uh, predicting the market. They have to do with risk control, because when they work, they work great, and when they don't work, that's your risk control. You stand out, bada-bing, bada-boom, and then you move on 
to the next trade. That's all you have to do. There's really not much more important thing than that. It, it certainly isn't. So, but, you know, we have this, hold on one second. Uh, someone's asking me a, a question here, and let me get this up here, and we'll be able to see it here quickly. All right, the question is, how do you decide where to start with your A, B, with your A point? The, folks, the A point is always the lowest part. Let's just let's just use crude oil as an example because we just had a what we think is a pretty significant top here in crude oil using the same strategy that we did with the uh, let's get it up here just a little above ninety dollars. You can see here we were looking at this level right here. Now what happened at this particular spot right here was the market went up and made a slight three drive pattern. There's drive one, drive two, drive three, and then it's broken quite a bit. Uh, about 70 pips or $700. Your risk on that would have probably been 40 pips, so now you'd be in a break-even trade. But the most important thing, and this is one of the things that I got the gentleman from Chicago. Well, he actually lives outside of Chicago now, but uh, he lives up in Lake Geneva. Anyway, look at this. You have this beautiful one, two, three drive to a bottom pattern, folks. That's just absolutely perfect. That's just like what the bonds did. That's what I showed him. I said, this is the crude oil day before yesterday, and the bonds are doing the same thing today. And he says to me, well, how do they do that? I said, well, I don't know. I said, all I know is it works. You know, and so I showed him. I said, look, just measure A, B, C, D, and then A, B, C, D, and there it was. Bada bing, bada boom. You come down, you make a 61% retracement. You go up, you test it one more time, and off to the races you go, and you go up and finish the completed pattern, and that's what you're looking for is when you see these uh, unfold. So I hope this helps. But when you start out, you've got to start at the highest level. The highest level on this chart is the A point, and, of course, D is where you want to enter. The second question that someone asked me from yesterday that I didn't get a chance to answer is, do you ever hesitate going into point D? Yes, I do. There are two things that I've written about in the book, the Trade What You See book. The two things are, one, if there is a big gap down there, I mean a humongous gap, I mean something that looks makes your eyes pop out of your head, little gap doesn't make any difference, but a big gap, you got to pay very close attention. A big gap is like five dollars $600, okay? But the second thing is, is if you had a real super wide-ranging bar coming down into that, you've got to wait till that bar completes. In other words, there's got to be an uptick or two before you can go at it because it's not – it's not smart to, you know, just stand in front of a falling knife. That doesn't give you any uh, extra, you know, stuff to really uh, do anything really exciting about, okay? So that those are the two things when you're dealing with the ABCD patterns that make it work so extremely well. So let's remind ourselves of that. Okay. Now, Rich will be our guest here in about uh, seven minutes, but I've got a couple other things that I wanted to go over with you that I think are uh, relatively important from a longer-term standpoint. I'm not going to go over that Goldman Sachs trade. People, If you want a copy of what that Goldman Sachs thing with the 135 pattern, uh, all you have to do is um, you know, drop me a note, and I will be happy to send out those the sequence of that Goldman Sachs uh, trade. That I, I didn't do that trade. I mean, you know, it, it, had, it had a lot of money in it, but I didn't. Well, I was happened to be in the futures, but but I, I didn't do the Goldman Sachs trade. Someone asked me to take a look at it, and that's all I did to show you that it had a perfect one three five pattern, and that's all it's uh, all it's really about. Remember, folks, you know we have Paula Douglas on here, and she does a you know great job with the, the folks that she works with. But one of my favorite. By the way, today's Paula's birthday, 39, I think, for the second time. When you really, this is what Mark used to say, when you really believe that trading is simply is a probability game, concepts of right or wrong, win or lose, no longer have the same significance. Okay? And I'll tell you the other thing that he used to say. If you're sitting there looking at that machine all day long, it's just like you're standing in front of a knife throwing board on the year the target and the guy throwing the knives is blind because these people that are trading myself and all the other millions of people that are out there, they don't give a diddly squat whether you're making money or not. And so don't pay any attention to what's going on. Leave your alert on. If the alert goes off and tells you that something big is happening, go for it. If that doesn't happen, then move on and do something else because it doesn't make any difference. 
It really doesn't, folks. You shouldn't watch the machine. That's probably the number one thing, especially now because you have all your equities here. I didn't get my equity till the next day when I was on the floor of the exchange from 82 you know, to 85. You know, We'd get that in the morning at around 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. They'd be ready. Then I could see if there were out trades, what I'd made or lost. So remember, you don't have to watch the machine to see uh, that, that you're making any money. All you got to do is to put your orders in. And, you know, if your beepers go off, you know, to tell you that the price levels are there, then go for it. You know, then you can open the machine and see what's going on. Other than that, it's no big deal. You know, it really isn't. It doesn't make any difference for sure. Okay, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Richard Alfred Anderson coming up next. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we are really lucky today. We got Mr. Volatility himself. Rich Anderson's on the line. He hasn't been with us for a long time. Rich, how are you doing, buddy? Doing great. Having a lot of fun this summer. Yeah, I'll bet you that's have. That's a nice weather now. <laughs> oh, that's right. You had the two days of of uh, summer, July 4th and 5th. But you've been pretty hot yeah. there in Minneapolis, haven't you? I, I know it's going to be 81 today. Last week, I had, we had a couple days in the 90s. I mean, uh, yeah, it's been warm. Although the you know the forecast is for some rains to come in. That would help the uh, late beans finishing. Uh, maybe touch the corn a little bit. But the... We, we, there's a lot of cross currents going on right now. I mean, the report was very exciting on Monday, but uh -huh. you know, you've got uh, Russia and Turkey talking about what the uh, corridor is for Ukraine grain. 
they export about half of what they normally do. Um, you know, the, the CPI and where expectations are for inflation, you know, the, the New York Fed uh, took a survey this month, and they, the survey said a year from now, expectation is 6% inflation versus 6.2 last week. And, of course, it takes 2% over inflation to slow down things. And so 2% over 6 would be 8. And, you know, nobody can envision that that could possibly happen. Um, although, look at the interest rates in Brazil, and uh, anything is possible. So oh, that, that's the understatement uh, for sure. Lots of cross currents there are. Rich, you've, you've shared a, a e-mini chart up here of the uh, of the S and P e-mini uh, with that right. big red uh, red bar. You want to tell the folks what you're looking at here and, and what your opinion is of what's going on? Well, well obviously, uh, uh, I mean, there was a big down day yesterday, and and frankly, I, I think that that uh, will be another wave down that will retest the mm-hmm. the lows we saw back. A couple months ago, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this market get down in that 3,300 area as people come to the realization that on a macro basis, uh, the the debate's been about demand destruction versus demand reduction. But, you know, so many things are locked in, like original, like rent, Uh, owner equivalent rent, OER is what the Fed calls it. You know, that's a slow moving number. You got the the Fed, the, the uh, rail strike that's going to start on Friday if they don't come to some kind of agreement, and that's about the worst time in the world to happen if if you're uh, in the beginning of grain harvest. You know when the most oh, amount gosh. of grain moves is you know and it's not to mention you know a lot of the uh, pe- birds and the, the and the hog farmers in the east are buying hand to mouth looking to get a better basis as harvest starts and then all of a sudden you can't move you can't get your uh, grain in there because of rail i mean that's uh could be uh-huh. some real problems so there's a there's a lot of cross currents in the grains but in the the s and p's there i i certainly think that uh, we're going to have another equal swing to that first swing down and and that will put us down below the lows and uh, you know I'm, I'm favoring 3300 is what i'm favoring right now but you got to trade okay. with the trend and and pick your time frame. That's the secret. Yeah, you know, I certainly do. And, and and then manage your risk intelligently. You know, um, yeah. because as Mark Douglas used to say, futures gives you the unlimited ability to destroy yourself. So you have to manage your risk in an intelligent yep. way. That's that's the, right. That's the whole secret, and that's knowing what yeah. time frame you feel comfortable in. You know, the other thing that people do that is absolutely crazy, if you're trading more than 10 times a day, folks, send their money to Rich and I so we can enjoy it. So because uh, other than that, I, I would people, give it to a church rather than you or me. Like. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, my betting, you know, my betting uh, history at the at the track. It's been a good year, though, for me for that. Anyway, uh, do you remember when Mark used to come out and visit us here when Mark was living here and he would be here in the office and talk to us about the two major reasons that these people lose money is one they put their stops too close so they don't use stops at all and what they're doing he said he says they're watching every tick go up and down because they can see what their equity is he says those are the two right. things you're bringing money into the equation now you're, 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 you might as well put cobwebs in your head right you, know, you have to place your stop at price levels that make sense and uh-huh. you know the, all the retracements and stuff like that don't do you any good if you don't have your stops in the correct spot and that and that's now variable uh, risk you know based on i've got x amount of dollars i'm taking so i might take less contracts if my risk is going to be bigger but you've got to put your stops where you're given your chance uh, to succeed and you know people think they're risk takers but they're actually risk risk avoiders and they keep putting their stops too close and then they never make any money when they're right and they always lose money when they're wrong. And yeah. in, in that, you technically, you know, fundamentally you can be wrong, but if you're technically right, you're going to make money. But if you're technically wrong and fundamentally right, you're losing money. And that's why you got to yeah. be a technician and structure yeah. your risk intelligently. That's the whole secret to the game. 
Okay, now we're going to bring up a chart here of the uh, November soybeans, and I wanted to ask a little bit question about the Brazilian crop. You know, I, I don't follow the fundamentals like you do, Rich, because you supply that information to me. But what is the, uh, what is the percentage of world uh, production now coming out of Brazil? I remember the, the last time I checked, it was like 30%. That was quite a few years ago. So yeah, what is it yeah, now? They're... they're uh... You know, we, we one of the major mistakes uh, that was made in the Nixon administration is embargoing soybeans to Japan. Mm. And Japan then proceeded to send like 40,000 people a year down to Brazil to develop the soybean yeah. industry in Brazil. And, yeah. it, it, you know, it, they're massive competitors. Now they, the South America produces more beans than we do. And they're, yeah. you know, they all and uh, frankly... Look how well our grain markets are doing right now because we really yeah. have a short crop considering the price of the dollar, you know, but the strength of the dollar. This is this is amazing that prices have held up this well and we're beginning to harvest. But, you know, you've got the rail thing. And and then, of course, in Europe, they're only allowing natural gas for heating and electricity. So that means there'll be no fertilizer, basically, for Europeans next year. And that's, wow. that hopefully will help us out, too. So... You know, prices are going to be good. You, you just you let the markets come to levels you feel good about. As Bryce Gilmore used to say, you want to look at the charts and what's pleasing to the eye. Bryce and I, when we were out in Pismo Beach, you know, got yeah. to working on something we call pattern perfect. And it had to do with not only the retracements, uh, which you and expansions that you go through all the time uh, with the, your uh, clients, but also the time retracement yep. you know yeah well he was a he was a master when they're at that pattern too. perfect yep. in both time and price i mean you've got a high probability of a winner no, no thing yep. nothing is working 100 percent of the time but you yep. have a very high probability of a winner well, that's absolutely for sure. Uh, it was fun working with Bryce. Boy, he was uh, he was really a man's man, folks. I mean, he he was. Uh, they didn't make anybody like him anymore. He's still no, he's still but alive. He was also he's not a math genius. He's a math yes, he genius. was. He certainly was. I uh, I have to agree with. Him. I remember the very first time that I met him. He just blew the socks right off of me, and I uh, walked barefoot for two weeks just trying to figure out what had happened to me then. And he came out to Pismo Beach and stayed with me for two and a half months the first time I met him. And then from then on, he was out there two or three months every year for six years. So, and we got to have a lot of fun there. We certainly did, didn't we? Oh, hey, Rich, we got to take a break. I've got one more question, if you don't mind coming to break. It's about yeah, Chinese real I'll estate. Here. No worries. Chinese farming. We'll be right back with Rich Anderson, Anderson Capital Management, Mr. Volatility. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're talking with Rich Anderson, happens to be a farmer, owns his own property. And uh, the question we have from one of our listeners out in Des Moines, Iowa, is how much Chinese are buying the um, farmland in the United States? That was a, one of the lead uh, articles on Bloomberg this morning. I don't know the answer to that, but do you have any figures on that, Rich? Uh, no, I, I don't. Uh, you know, I've, I've been busy since 7 o'clock this morning now. Uh, playing pickleball but, uh, <laughs> you know Iowa passed some laws where they limited severely limited corporations and and frankly you know prices have gone up uh, you know there's there's just these farmers have cash and you know they're, they're willing to pay cash so locally I haven't I haven't heard about that there, there's uh, some private equity guys in South Dakota, for instance, there's one in Brookings, and and well, there are several, but there's one in Brookings I'm thinking of, and they'll they'll try and buy any land they can too, so, you know. And then oh. you've got uh, Glenn Taylor owns the Timberwolves. Well, yeah. he, he recently sold it, but he had 73 companies up here. I mean, he's been buying land in Iowa for the last 25 years. It's it's wow. been a, a heck of an investment and a decent return. And I haven't heard much about the Chinese buying, but you know they. They've got to move their money someplace, too. And, you know, they don't want to have it necessarily in our government bonds, especially if we're going to continue to raise interest rates, because as they raise interest rates, the bonds for prices go down. Yeah. You know, so they're trying to diversify. And, and then we've got this little issue with Taiwan. And, um, you know, I mean, the Biden administration is talking about some more uh, economic sanctions against China. There, there's lots of cross currents going on right now. So, you know, trade... Yeah. Pick a time frame that's a little shorter. Staying yep. overnight isn't yeah. necessarily good for your health if you want yeah. a good sleep. And uh, yeah. sleep, what is that, Rich? <laughs> hey, listen, buddy. I really, I, you know, I miss hanging out with you when you used to come out and visit us. I mean, it was really a lot of fun, and I haven't seen you for over a year. Well, it's been two years now since COVID. So I know. Yeah, tell Lisa I said hello. We'll have you in again soon. And if you get any information on the Chinese property, you know, please right. drop I'll us a line. Let it. me know, okay? I will. I'll look okay. into it. You bet, folks. Bye -bye. Rich Anderson, Mr. Volatility. The reason why I call him that, he is the least volatile of any of the people that Mark ever worked with. He used to re, uh, actually be absolutely amazed at how calm Rich was when he did his trading. Of course, he did a lot of option trading, and he still does, but uh, he was so risk-averse that uh, it was really, really great. I don't know if you folks know this, but I met Rich back in 1974. I was running a squawk box at uh, Payne Weber. He was one of the brokers in Minneapolis, and I have started talking about Fibonacci in 1974, uh, 73, 74, I don't remember it was. And so he called me up and said, how do I learn more about this stuff? And I said, well, there are not many books about it, but uh, here's something you might want to look at anyway. And we became friends, and it uh, has lasted all these years. And uh, he's certainly been a lot of fun to uh, 
to work with for sure. So it's been really great. Okay, now let's get back to one of the markets that I posted here before Rich went on. That was the let's get it back up here again so so we can see it without anybody talking about it because this is a this is a beautiful pattern that, that we want to look at and this is in the um, in the crude oil because we were talking about this uh, early today. Uh oh, the cash registers ringing. Hold on just a minute here. There we go. Get it up here. You're going to see here. There's the there's the three drive. You see a perfect A B C D. It's just absolutely perfect. The time between A B and C D perfect. That's just great. It's broken a buck. Had a little three eight two retracement right here. Your risk is really quantified now. You don't have to risk anything at all. And that's why you're going to be listening to me on the September 20th if you can. And it will be recorded. So if you can't listen to it live, you'll be able to get. Uh, you'll be able to get all the information you need. Now, there's something else that you probably ought to uh, take into consideration. Is you, I'm going to give you all of the possible information that uh, you can possibly get as far as trying to get this stuff to work for you. That's the that's the whole key, you know, to looking. I just noticed here that my beeper's going off that the market is weakening again here with the two hours to go, closing below. Those lows that we made uh, early this morning, folks, were 100 points away in the Dow Jones. Should we break below those and close below those, uh, boy, look out for Thursday, Friday, and God help us coming in on Monday. Because uh, if you remember, I warned you about this uh, several weeks ago on that day coming in on a Monday, and bada bing, bada boom, that was it. Don't forget, we had two great people here that told us about that. That was Stan Harley and none other than Mr. Norm Winsky himself. Actually, what I did was I told Norman what to say so that he would get it right. Nah, that's a baloney. He did it all himself, as he always does. Anyway, those are a few of the things that we want to keep in mind here. It's not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose. And be really careful if you're long some of these stocks, folks, because they're not looking very good. I mean, you know, stop and think. If this was the dead cat bounce, that meow you heard was not a mountain lion. It wasn't a saber-toothed tiger. It was a little tiny kitten that wanted milk. So just be really, really careful here. It's super, super uh, time to really watch what you do. And remember, we had Jeff Huge on. And Jeff will be our guest uh, the following week. He happens to be uh, vacationing uh, today, uh, this week, and so he'll hopefully be here next week like he said he would be. But let's bring up his chart that he warned us about uh, oh, many, many weeks ago, at least six weeks ago, when we were up in here. Do you remember that? We left that gap up there, and we talked about that, saying, oh, not good, not good. And then we got the news yesterday, why? And so now we're heading down. We're going to take these lows out like they like like melted butter, folks. We're here. You know, we're we're way down here. I mean, you know, we're almost there. I mean, you know, we're we're way down in this area. So this is <laughs> this is not good. You know, so let's keep it. Well, we're way above that. We're still up in this area here. But th this looks like we're heading down to 3,300 is like what Rich said. My personal opinion is I belong with Stan Harley's crew, and that is we're probably going to see 2,300 or possibly lower. There's no fear, folks. There's no fear yet over on Wall Street yet. Yeah, there's a few bears out there, but there's nobody that is really what we call really, really super, super bearish that I can see anyway. I've told the people that did the selling yesterday, hang on. Don't even look at the machine for, you know, at least for a couple months. And uh, I think you're going to be well preserved. This will be uh, well rewarded, not preserved. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're all, well, we're only 40 points away from the uh, low of the day now, folks. This is not a good time with two hours to go. So we're going to find out what's going to happen here today. And that's what we're going to be looking at. So uh, remember, tomorrow's guest will be Shane Smolian, thewolftrader.com. And then on Friday, we have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. A letter on Monday, I believe I have. Oh, my golly, who do I have? Oh, shucks. I don't have it. Oh, you know what? Monday is going to be, and then Tuesday I have the uh, all-day trading thing, so I'll be uh, I'll be doing that on Tuesday, so I won't be doing the show. Monday, I don't think I have a guest because I'm going to be getting ready for the show, but if I can get someone that's interesting, I will certainly uh, try to get, oh, Tim Boss. Maybe I can get Tim Boss because he's got some really great stuff, so we'll be very, very close to watching this stuff here. Really important where we are right now, folks. And the Dow Jones is sitting right at the 78% level. It's got to hold. Otherwise, 
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the artificial intelligence thing today. You can see we had our low here today. That was the big ABCD here. We had a big Gartley right here, and we're supposed to rally the rest of the day, folks. But if we don't, and if we don't, look out, because it's going to be down the rest of the day, and we're going to take out this low and go a whole lot lower. So remind ourselves of that, because that these things only work part of the time. But when they work, they work great. But they're the amount that they do, and I don't know what's going on there, but I'll have to worry about that a little later, not to worry too much about it. So we'll see what's going on right there. Anyway, let's uh, – sorry about that, folks. <laughs> that happens to be one of my uh, – one of my compadres that, that forgets that I do the radio show because he listens to me all the time anyway, so he doesn't listen to the radio show. So anyway, let's keep an eye on this. What you want to be doing today is to take the high of the day down to that low that we just made, okay? Now, the 382 on this comes in at 3,122. We're 50 points away. Now, if we can get above that 
And if we can get above that, that means we got a chance here that this thing could really rip at the close and uh, look like it's going to close up on the day because we're basically, I think we're still up, but just very, very marginally. I mean, it's not much at all. And going below that next low would not be would not be very good uh, from the way we look at it, uh, watching these things uh, unfold here today. So tomorrow, our guest will be none other than Mr. Shane Smolian, thewolftrader.com. And then the next day, we will have Stan Harley. And if you get a chance, try to join me on September the 20th when we try to make money for you folks. I do a little teaching, but those are the main things that we want to keep uh, keep a close eye on as we watch these things unfold here uh, today. So we'll see you all tomorrow, and uh, may God bless, and live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.